Is this thing on? I think I lost. I think I'm a bit rusty. Hey everyone, I'm Fred Ranger and I am back on YouTube. Man, it's been a while since I've posted a video. I know, I know. But there's good reasons for that. And the first one is that I've been very busy with the visual storytelling podcast. Guys, I'm having a blast interviewing some of my favorite photographers like Phil Penman, um, Dotan Segi, and actually one of my friends just released a book here. And I co-hosted or he co-hosted an episode with me and the Eclav. You should definitely check him out. But again, this is where, you know, YouTube for me is not my main gig, um, nor is the podcast. Those are passion projects, but I am understanding a little bit more where my time is most valuable. And I know I'm not the greatest gear reviewer. I mean, there's some people out there like the Gerald Zondans and all these guys that are doing it so magnificently. They deep dive into the technicality of the gear. For me, it's more about the passion for photography, the why we do things. And this is where I found a lot of success in discussing the why with those photographers, those creators on the visual storytelling podcast. So my idea here is to kind of bring that energy into this channel. Of course, I'll still review some gear. As a matter of fact, this is my next review and this is going to be a big one. Uh, pun intended. This is the GFX 100 two or the second, some of some people might call it or even Fuji, I think. Uh, but that will not only be the only content, only be the only content. This will not be the only content that will be uh, released on this channel. Again, for me, photography is a true passion. Storytelling is how I literally live my life through storytelling, consuming stories and trying to tell, you know, compelling stories and to make people feel something. So that's my plan for this channel and speaking of which a good balance between gear and storytelling today i had a chance to go to the leica boutique in montreal it's called camtech photo this is literally the best place if you want to buy any piece of leica gear or any photography gear for that matter so if you are in the montreal region please go visit camtech and uh, tell jean i say hi they have uh, probably one of the most efficient team in Canada. Um, but today it was a demo day and the Leica SL3 was being demoed. So I said, you know what? It's been a long time since I've, you know, been to the to the shop, to the camera shop and um, might as well just go see this new Leica uh, camera. I'm not necessarily considering buying it, but again, just to bring you some different type of content, not just me always talking about lenses and cameras, but sometimes having somebody from Leica like today discussing the differences between the SL3 and the SL2 because you might be in the market to buy this type of camera and you might want to know uh, a bit more on the specs but also why should you care about a camera that expensive so today I'm going to roll that little interview it's a mini interview I did with um, somebody from Leica who was there very very nice gentleman and you're going to see that uh, I'm not the only one who's passionate about that uh, if you are in that business, every time you see a new product, every time you see something that enables you to tell your stories, uh, you can see the fire in the eyes. And I think it was an interesting conversation. So I want to hear from you. Um, would you like me if I bring again a bit more interviews like I do on the visual storytelling podcast, but on this channel, if you are interested, let me know down below. Uh, if you aren't, you can let me know too. But that's kind of the direction I think I'm going to take for this channel. Again, of course, I'll do the occasional gear review, but uh, I want to move in a different direction. You know, life is about moving forward. Life is about trying out stuff and I want to experiment. And by the way, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who joined recently, uh, even though I wasn't posting for the last like five months. I think my, my last video was. Um, so thank you and let's bring it to 10,000. I think if, you know, it's just a number, it doesn't really matter. I think it, I'm most proud about the conversation in the comments. Um, but yeah, let's bring it to 10,000 more people, the merrier and more helpful. The community is, uh, if you are all participating myself included again. So let's roll that little interview. If you have any questions about the SL3, I haven't used it yet. I'm going to try to get my hands on one, uh, if, uh, if I can. But until then, I'll review the GFX. And again, I'll let you know if I can access the SL3. And when I publish a new episode of the Visual Storytelling Podcast, maybe I'll bring it to this channel. We'll see. So please enjoy life, be happy, and enjoy the interview. 
with the Leica Rep. Cheers. So I'm with Michael from Leica here in Montreal at the Leica Boutique. We thank Leica Boutique for uh, welcoming us today. Uh, very excited because, can I touch it? Sure, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. This is the SL3 and uh, it has a, a couple of nice new features. And what I'm actually realizing is that it's actually smaller than the SL2, isn't it? Yeah, this is a little bit smaller. Basically, is the camera body is the same as the old M240. Nice. So, so if you look at it, the size-wise is basically is the same. Only thing is the the grip, the grip, and then the viewfinder is raised it up a little bit. So the camera itself is basically is the same size. Wow. Okay, that's yeah. cool. And also, uh, you kept the very excellent uh, OLED display in there. Yep. But what I'm most excited about is the um, the, the fact the face detect, right? So now yes. finally we have a very performance. Face, yes, face detect, person detect, and the uh, animal detect um, focusing. And that's available right in the first firmware that's that you get. It. Yep. And also, of course, the now and famous <laughs> tilt up screen, of course. Uh, that was introduced in the Q3, right? That's correct. And yeah. also with the flip screen, it's also it's IP54. So it's kind of nice. water resistance there. And you can, I mean, Leica does things very well, so you can feel that this is not a flimsy uh, flip-up screen. And uh, the one thing I was wondering, though, that power button, that's, yeah. that's a departure from that mechanical one that was on the SLC, Yes, right? it's, it's, a, it's a big step for us. Uh, we have a mechanical switch, and now we're using a touch, almost like a touch type. This here. And then we start, it's quite faster yeah. than the old one. So if you put it on automatic, shutter it off, and then you, you pick it up the camera, and then you press the shutter, and automatic switch back. Let's try it live to see if he's lying. Boom, that was fast. Oh my god, okay. So that, that was also something that that's okay, why yeah. users were like, ah, SL2 is kind of a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, any other differences that, that is worth noticing for us? Uh, there was a, we had an additional dial here beside the uh, SL2. Um, and also, this camera here can do 8K. 8K video? Yeah, non stop. Wow, okay. Okay. So, as long as your bat you have enough of battery, you can record the whole seminar or whatever. And there's no overheating uh, involved in that. <laughs> no, I haven't yet. tried yet, <laughs> I don't yet, but they're like don't think so. sixty megapixels. Yes. So it's the same thing as the Q three and the M eleven. So try resolution. That's right. So you can go thirty six and eighteen. Sixteen. 60, yeah. 60, 33, 36, 36, and 18. And 18. That's useful if you're like a wedding photographer, you shoot a lot and you yeah. sprint pray. And also this one here, yep. the SL2 take two SD card. Got it. This one take one SD card. Yeah. Slide. Oh, the other way. Yeah. And then you take a CF Express. Oh, CF Express. So you can do high data rates and yeah. stuff like that. That's the CF Express. Nice. Good to know. So SD and CF Express. Oh, that's right. And also on the top of the viewfinder, you find a little plug here. That is for the time code. Oh, okay, so you can sync the time code. That's correct. With other cameras. That's that's pretty useful. That's pretty useful. And it has, of course, the full HDMI. Yeah, full cord. HDMI. And, and the then input. And handphone and the microphone and then uh, USB-C. That's to yeah. charge the battery. So it charges and does the data transfer to That's great. That's beautiful. Okay, nice. Uh, and these dials are customizable, right? You can yes. Assign it to whatever you want, ISO or whatever you want. Yeah. Account for. Beautiful. Well, again, that's a very interesting upgrade to the SL2, now the SL3. And uh, I'll try to get my hands on one. Uh, maybe maybe we can uh, hang out and have a coffee after. <laughs> and I can convince you to lend me one for a couple of days. Uh, but thank you so much. It was no very problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. And uh, that's the SL3. We're in Camtech Photo, Leica Boutique in Montreal. If you have any needs on that front, please come visit Jean and the gang. They're the best. Cheers.